One of the features that C Sharp, like any other object-oriented programming languages, prides itself in is its support for inheritance. Inheritance allows the expression of reusability with a base type. Reusability is a requirement to software these days, as the cost of software is still sky high. However, in C Sharp, there is another way for writing reusable code, that is generics. Generics express reusability through a template that contains placeholder types. Generics have the advantage of increasing type safety and reducing casting and boxing. Delve into .NET base class libraries, and you will find countless usage of generic classes, interfaces, structures, delegates, and methods. The generic type declares type parameters that will be filled with the consumer of the generic type. That consumer has to respect those placeholder types, otherwise the compiler throws an error. For example, you can create a stack collection type and specify the generic parameter as T. That will force the consumer of the collection to stack only instances of type T. The T is formally called type parameter. You can also call it placeholder. It will be placed inside a pair of angle brackets. If for example, you have stack type with the declared parameters being int, then you would have to pass only integers to the stack instance. Technically, stack of generic type T is known as an open type, while that of generic type int is known as closed type. Candidates for type parameters declaration include classes, interfaces, structs, delegates, and methods. A generic type or method can have more than one type parameter. If your generic types and methods have only a single parameter, then as a convention you can name the parameter T. With multi-type type parameters, you can specify a more descriptive name, but prefixed with T. For example, developers like using T key and T value. If the number of type parameters differ, generic type names and methods can be overridden. The generic method declares type parameters within the signature of a method. Generic methods are especially used in providing a way to implement algorithms. When invoking a generic method, mostly you don't need to specify the type parameter as the compiler is able to infer it. For a method to be classified as generic, it has to specify the type parameters via angle brackets. Only methods and types can specify type parameters. Operators, fields, properties, indexers, events, constructors, etc. cannot declare parameters unless if it's already been declared in the base type. When designing classes and structs that need to have some common functionalities like sorting, searching and enumeration, it is common to create generic interfaces. However, most of the time the interface is already defined in the systems.collections namespace, fit the bill. Here are some of them. I collection of type T. This defines general characteristics, e.g., size, enumeration, and threat safety, for all generic collection types. I compare of type T. This defines a way to compare two objects. I dictionary of type T value and T key. This allows a generic collection object to represent its contents using key value pairs. I enumerable of type T. This returns the iEnumerator interface for a given object. iEnumerator of type T. This enables for each style iteration over a generic collection. iList of type T. This provides behavior to add, remove, and index items in a sequential list of objects. iSet of type T. This provides the base interface for the abstraction of sets. Please remember to subscribe to our channel. Also click the bell icon so that you are notified of our future content. Have a good day.